Hey everyone, it's Ellie Mae with Artist Pre, and today I have a quick project that we are going to sublimate on to bottle openers. So these are stainless steel bottle openers, and I'm going to quickly go through the supplies. This is a great idea for a quick gift that you could do for any type of occasion for someone you know would enjoy it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the supplies that we'll need. So we're going to need some basic supplies. You're going to need a sheet of copy paper. Yes, copy paper, plain, ordinary copy paper. That's what sublimation, artist pre-sublimation inks work with. A pencil, scissors. We're going to use some of these artist pre-inks. You can use these if you want to add a little bit of color to your design if you would choose to do so. And then I'm going to be using the artist pre-sublimation marker. I'm actually going to be using that in my Caesar Juliet machine. So any machine that you could sketch with, you could do the same thing with or you could simply hand letter a design as well. I am also using just a little blending brush for the inks. And then we have our Artist Pre protective paper, which is very, very important in the process. You wanna protect your surface. And I have some heat tape. Make sure to grab some heat safe gloves as well because we are going to be heating this blank up for 40, 400 degrees for 75 seconds and it is metal. It is going to be very, very hot when you take it out. So you want to protect yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. So I went into my Caesar Leonardo Design Studio software. I entered the text that I wanted to create, and then I drew a box. I had measured the middle of the bottle opener, so I knew exactly what size that, that my design could fit in. It was four inches by 1.5 inches, and then I used that box to size it. That was my first bottle opener. You're going to reverse your text. So I right clicked and chose to mirror or flip horizontal because sublimation, you need to mirror that text so it turns out correctly. So I did the second thing for my sketch font and looked, I had an issue there, so I had to retype it. I just had a capital where I shouldn't have and I made it the size I wanted it to be and then I mirrored that as well. I took my rectangle and I increased the size of it. And this is just dependent on your particular machine that you're sketching with. I had been testing and I knew that this machine does a little point of um, calibration or it's it's like a touchdown when it goes to sketch. And if you don't have the space around your design, when I sent it, you're going to see here just a second that this the pen is going to touch down in the bottom left corner if i didn't have those boxes drawn around it i found that it was touching down next to my design which meant that it would transfer when i did my ink and it would transfer onto my bottle opener so i simply drew two large rectangles that you see it draw here and then i sent that and i'm going to end up cutting those off so it's not going to be a big deal whatsoever but this gave me the space so that I can use it for my template. I do like to remove the pen before I remove my mat so that it doesn't accidentally mark up the mat. And I'm gonna show you a close up here of that touchdown. Okay, so I have two designs that I had the um, machine sketch out for me. So I have my markers over here that have been sitting upright for about 20 minutes and this is my chisel tip black one so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and color in this cheers and i will speed the video up to do that um, you can sometimes get your machine to fill in a design if you'd like to do so just keep in mind that the sublimation ink if you get too much of it condensed in one area, it can bleed or it can cause issues with your paper. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to color this in. Okay, now that I have that colored in, I am going to go ahead and 
Uh, I mentioned before that the reason I drew the boxes was so that I could get the marker to do its immediate touchdown before it starts off of the design area so that I still had this area here for my bottle opener and so I could do some coloring. So first I'm just going to cut the outer black off because I don't need that. And that's just a way that I can kind of trick the machine to leave that dot and the touchdown for the ink and it's away from my design. And then you can keep it as simple as you could apply this to your bottle opener the way it is. I'm just going to go ahead and open this. Or you can add some color to it. Now both sides are stainless steel so you could sublimate on both sides if you'd like to. I'm just going to take this and get it lined up and what I might do is I'm going to flip this over then I can see it a little bit better. And I am going to add, actually, I'm going to add some tape here. Because I had the machine draw it out first, so I didn't have to have it placed in the exact location on my machine and try to line that up, I did not draw my template yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to put some tape there. I'm going to look through my copy paper and I'm going to line this up on my template where I want it, stick that down, and then what I can do is now I know where my template is supposed to be. So I can draw around it with a pencil, and this is going to give me an idea if I want to color the design a little bit more. And this tape, I'm just going to carefully take that off and I'm gonna save that. I'll use that here in just a second. So you can see there is gives me my little bit of a template there. I'll do the same thing for this one. So I can reuse this piece of tape just to hold it in place. And then I'm going to center my design how I would like it. Tape that in place. Flip it over, it looks a little bit crooked. And you just wanna keep doing that. However you can get that lined up. Take a look at it. And everybody's gonna have a little bit different method. This is just so I can get some the color. And then I can line that up again after. And you could just simply color it too if you didn't want to. So I'll just set that aside for a second. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take one of these and I'm simply just going to start. And the first one I'm gonna do is blue. So I'm gonna take my Artist Pre ink pad and a blending brush. And this is completely up to you. Keep in mind, we are working with a stainless steel blank. So the color is going to vary just a little bit on that. I do like the blending brushes with the uh, ink pads because then I can come in and I can kind of vary the amount of ink on my design. So I can make it lighter here in the center and blend it in. And you can do all kinds of things. You could make a rainbow, you could blend two colors together, You want to make sure to go over the edges of your blank if you want that color to be extended to the edge. So keep that in mind when you're doing it. That's one reason to draw around your blank so you know exactly where it's going to be. So let's just go ahead and we'll call that good with that one. Cover my ink up because I am messy. And then what I'm going to do is I can go ahead and I can line this up again. If you can see your pencil marks. My blue ink is kind of dark. And I'm going to put that down 
and then take a look at what I see for placement. That looks good to me. So I'm going to set this one aside. And then let's go ahead and let's I'll show you a little bit lighter color. So let's do the um, let's do a yellow. We'll come in here and we'll see. I'll show you how that looks on your stainless steel blank. Um, going to just look at this a little bit. I think I cut my paper crooked, so I just want to make sure that. And it is very forgiving with this tape that I can. I want to make sure I am straight. I just think my paper is crooked. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to go ahead, ink up. And again, pencil does not transfer, so it's a great way to, now you can see, when I go over the yellow on top of that black, it is kind of smearing it. But give it a little bit of a distressed look in this case. And then I'll just come in and clean up my ink pad later. So keep that in mind when you're blending your colors. That black ink will blend in. But you know what? It gives it a little bit of a unique look. A little bit of a distressed. And since I started it, I'm just going to continue. I'm going to kind of... Use it as a blending tool. Give it a little bit more dimension there. So even if something doesn't go the way it was planned, it will still work. And I'll take my other blank. And these make great gifts. And I just need to grab some heat tape. And then I have my heat press over here on the right hand side. It is heated up to 400 degrees and we're going to press this for 75 seconds. So I am going to place my blank down here, line it up with my lines, and then secure it with some heat tape. And then since I have two of them, I'm going to go ahead and do both of them at the same time. What I'm going to do is I am going to, I'm going to wrap them though separate. So we're going to make our sublimation sandwich. So I'm going to have my protective paper on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and place my blank down. So my paper is on top and then I'm just going to simply cut a section here. And you want to make sure that you have your entire surface completely covered. I could have tried to do it with two in the same um, sandwich or two sheets on one sheet on the bottom, one sheet on the top. But I didn't want any of the ink gases to expand to each other since they are two different colors. So I wanted to be very careful on that. So I'm going to take my protective paper. My blank is down with my paper side up. And once again, cut that. And I am protecting my press platen. I do not want this sublimation ink to get onto my platen. And then what I'm going to do is I have my heat safe gloves here. I'm going to place these into my heat press and I'm going to press it at 400 degrees for 75 seconds. And then we will come back and with the heat gloves, I will do the reveal. Okay, I'm going to carefully release my heat press and let it come up. Then I'm just going to let those sit for just a second and let them settle. I'm going to grab my Artist Pre protective pad. This is a heat safe pad that I can then pull my blanks onto and let them cool off on. So I'm gonna grab my heat safe gloves. Since it is metal, it is going to be extremely hot. So I have this and my second one. Very, very hot, so be very careful, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the reveal here. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I really like that. 
One thing I like about the Artist Pre is sometimes you just don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm going to do this on the other side and I will show another photo of that at the very end. But I think I'm going to come in and I'm going to do a much darker blue on that so it gives it even more of a metallic finish. I really like that. It's a little off center, but with practice, everybody's going to have those. Great gift, handmade. I have the other side, so I'm going to do that and we'll see what that blue, darker blue comes out as. Let's take a look at the second one. It's really hot. Okay, so here's that lighter color. Ooh, and it did it too. Okay. So you have, that turned out really, really good. So hopefully you can see that on the video. You can see that my ink did smear here. You could see about waiting a little bit longer for the ink to dry or you could brush on your yellow first on your paper before you put it into your machine to sketch. And then you would just want to make sure you have a very wide area that you've brushed on the ink for so that you could get it completely covered. That would help with the bleeding in the area there. But it's still a functional bottle opener. So I will do a test on the other side. I'll show you photos of that finished project here. I ended up putting in a little bit here so you can see I'm going to draw around the bottle opener template and then I just took my inks and I did a really heavy color in blue to see that what this would turn out like. I really liked this metallic um, when you unveil that it turned out really really cool um, and it has that shiny surface of the stainless steel. So I just pop this in here and here is a look at the finished products on the back side of the uh, bottle openers. And then there you have quick project that you can customize for any gifts.